Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you guys how to do, um, just to factor this. Um, and this becomes a little bit different because we have the Y and the H's. But what I'd like you guys to do is just kind of think about this. Let's for one reason, or let's one time, let's forget about that we have these H's here. Let's just look at this as Y squared minus 2HY minus 24. You yeah. have the H. Let's forget about the H's. Right? Let's just look at it like that. Now, if we were to factor this, this would be kind of the same thing. What you can do is look at your factors of negative 24 and see what two factors are going to add up to give you negative 2. So what you do is you can just go and take a look at it and write down all the factors of negative 24. You can say negative. I'm just going to do the plus or minus because we know obviously one can be positive and one has to be negative. So you can do 24 times 1. You can do uh, 12 times 2. You can do 8 times 3, where one of these is going to have to be negative, right? You have 6 times 4. Oh. Um, that's going to be it. So if we look at this, which one of these factors would have a difference of being negative 2? Well, if you look at this, that means when you had negative 6 and positive 4, right? So if I was going to write this as my factors, I would write y minus 6 times y plus 4. Now, does that make sense factoring without the h's, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now let's think about this. So if I'm going to go back and include the h's here. Think about what these two terms. If I have negative 6 times 4, we know that gives us negative 24. It's h, just right? H. So then what would I have to get to be h squared? See, if that's what I wanted. If I added an h to the ends of both of these, would I now have negative 24 h squared? Yes. 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 And then let's just check, let's just check our middle terms. Because we know y times y is y squared. We know it's negative 6h times positive 4, which is negative 24h squared. And let's check the middle terms. Negative 6h negative times y, just going to be a negative 6hy. And 4h times y is going to be a positive 4hy. Um, then do those combine to a negative negative 2hy? Yeah. Yes. So when you get a problem like this, where you're going to have the middle and last terms as variables, it's really not a different of a factoring problem. You just need to make sure you include that variable for the second um, second term in your binomial. Okay, that's it.